Carnation Evaporated Milk presents the George Burns and Gracie Allen Show. Thank you very much. Well, it happened again today. I just met a fellow on the street and he said, Mr. Burns, I'd like to get into television. So I said, uh, are you an actor? And he said, no. And I said, well, do you sing or dance? And he said, no. I said, well, have you any talent at all? And he said, not a bit. So I said, uh, what makes you think that you can get into television? And he said, I thought maybe Gracie had a sister. <laughs> you know, this really burns me up. <laughs> Everybody thinks Gracie has got everything and that I've got nothing. I got a little news for you. Gracie couldn't do what I'm doing. She wouldn't smoke a cigar if you gave her a million dollars. <laughs> And you'd laugh at some of the questions they ask me. They think actors are different or eccentric or something. Believe me, an actor is just as normal as any person who goes to see a psychiatrist. <laughs> Although psychiatry does help a lot of people. I know a fellow that had a terrible affliction. He had a goldfish complex. He would sit around for hours and go... <laughs> And he had to see a psychiatrist. Had to go there every day for a year. And the doctor finally told him what caused it. And now when he goes, he knows why. <laughs> Incidentally, I've been approached by some of the top psychiatrists of the country. They'd like to take a look at Gracie. <laughs> for free. I was even offered a television set. <laughs> they figured that the man that can straighten Gracie out would be bigger than Freud, who was the Clark Abel of psychiatry. <laughs> but I said no. I love Gracie just the way she is. I've got a brother who's married to a very smart woman. He's got to work for a living. <laughs> Well, I think it's time now for Gracie and our next door neighbor, Blanche Morton, to make her entrance. You know, as I was saying, Blanche, I think Eleanor is the best operator they've got at that beauty shop. Well, I like the, the tall, dark-haired girl. The one that's married? Oh, yes. She's the one whose husband is an elk's wife. <laughs> that's the one? Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. Come on, I'll walk you home. Yeah. Anyway, my operator's a very clever girl. I wouldn't let anybody else touch my hair. In fact, you know what she told me today? Women are going to wear their hair longer. Oh, well, that's ridiculous. I'm already wearing my hair 24 hours a day. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, Gracie. She meant that... You're right. Mm -hmm. You're right. <laughs> My operator told me that uh, Barbara Byer split up with her boyfriend. No. Yes, but it serves Barbara right. She shouldn't use that perfume called My Sin if she's only bluffing. <laughs> I agree. Yeah, uh, come on, walk me home. All right. <laughs> you know, the only thing I don't like about your operator is what she once said about carnation milk. What did she say? Well, she said she gives it to her three children. Well, honey, that means she loves it. Oh, no, if she loved carnation milk, she'd certainly have more than three children to give it to. <laughs> but, Gracie, the girl isn't even 20 yet. You can't have children at 9 or 10. My mother had me at 9.30. <laughs> uh, yeah? Yeah, uh -huh. come on, I'll walk you. <laughs> Did I tell you what a terrible lifetime I had getting an appointment? 
Oh, yes, you know, Eleanor's booked solid, too, this week, because all the wives are getting fixed up for the Vandalin party Saturday night. Yeah. You and I are going to be wallflowers again, because George and Harry can't rumba. Well, it ought to be easy for them to learn. It certainly ought to be easy for them to... Remember at the last party, how that slinky blonde was dancing with Harry? Is that what she was doing? I thought she was pressing his suit. <laughs> no, no, they were dancing. Oh, I don't understand, husbands. Before we were married, Harry used to love to dance with me. Well, George was the same way. You know, he was dancing with me one night in my living room, and my father came in and threw him out of the house. He did? Well, yes, you see, my father is a little hard of hearing, and he couldn't hear the phonograph playing. <laughs> Courtship days were wonderful, weren't they? Oh, it? yes. You know, one night, George came to visit me, and he brought me a bag of jelly beans. And we were sitting on the sofa, and my mother came in and turned out all the lights. Your uh, mother turned out the lights? Yeah, she couldn't stand to look at George. <laughs> oh. Well, I'll bet George didn't waste any time when the lights were out. Oh, <laughs> I'll say he didn't. He ate all the black jelly beans. <laughs> could he pick out the black ones in the dark? Those are the only kind he brought. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, come on, I'm off. <laughs> well, in those days, Harry was full of romance. Now, when he turns out the lights, it means television. Now, we just watch the wrestling. <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> I gotta go fix Harry's lunch. Oh, I've got so much to do. Well, why don't you fix some bacon and eggs? That's quick and easy. Well, Harry's not very fond of bacon. I'll give him a couple of strips. Well, sure. With a floor show like that, he'll eat anything. <laughs> well, uh, I, I, I really have a lot to do, Gracie, and I'll talk to you later, huh? Yeah, all Goodbye, right. Goodbye, honey. Goodbye. Goodbye. Well, how do you like that? The least you could do is walk me home. <laughs> She's real cute. <laughs> you know what she said at breakfast today? It said in the paper that the maternity hospital was giving a prize for the first baby of 51. And she said, any baby born that old deserves a prize. <laughs> then there was another article. This was a real killer. George! George! Oh, pardon me. She thinks I'm in the garden trimming the hedge. Oh, George, could I have the car keys? I have to go downtown. No, you haven't. You haven't renewed your driver's license. If they catch you without without a license, they'll throw you in jail. Well, I'll drive so fast they can't catch me. <laughs> I'll be right in. Oh, all right. You know, Gracie, I'd be glad to drive you downtown, but uh, but I've got some work to do. But uh, what is that? Electric cords. I have them shortened. This one's for the iron, and this one's for the floor lamp, and this one's for the table lamp. Well, why, why did you shorten them? To save electricity. <laughs> As I was saying, I'd be glad to drive you downtown, but I've got some work to do. Well, then let me use the car. I'm a very careful driver. It's the other people who are careless. Look, Gracie. You know, last week I was driving down a one-way street, and every car I met was going the wrong way. If you're going downtown, you'll have to walk. Well, it's awfully far. You wouldn't want me to walk my fingers to the bone. Walk your fingers to the bone? And you certainly don't want a wife who isn't all there. <laughs> I've loved you for 20 years. Well, I guess I'll change my shoes and get started. Okay, goodbye, dear. Goodbye. But as I was saying to Blanche, I said that my husband was the nicest, the handsomest, the most thoughtful, the most unselfish, the most talented, the most generous husband in the whole world. No car. Huh? No car, no. 
the most obstinate, the most stubborn, Goodbye, the dear. most selfish. Goodbye. The most obstinate, the most selfish. Yes. How do you like the way she's saving electricity? Of course, everything Gracie does and says isn't confusing. She says some very sensible things. Like yesterday, she said, good morning, George. Of course, the man she said it to was confused. His name was Fred. <laughs> and then we have a butcher. Oh, here comes our neighbor, Harry Morton. He looks happy. Today is payday. Well, he's a good neighbor and a good husband. recorded this, Guy Lombardo? <laughs> An unbreakable kind. Very funny. You'll be a big hit at the party Saturday night. I told you, Blanche, I'm not going to the party Saturday night. I don't Roomba. Well, why don't you and George learn? Blanche, I'm on my feet all day long. At night, my feet are tired. They invented a dance where you could do something beside, use something besides your, besides your feet, I'd go for it. Well, the Roomba's it. <laughs> oh, it still won't do for George. He sits down all day. <laughs> now look, Harry, Gracie and I are sick and tired of being wallflowers because you and old Brittlebones next door can't dance. Brittlebones? That's ridiculous. George is a wonderful dancer. Anyway, I'm not going to the party. Now listen, you are... Come in. Blanche, it's me. Oh, hi, honey. Oh, no. Oh, Blanche, I've just got the most wonderful thing to do. Uh, hello, Harry. Hello, uh, now, look, uh, Harry, don't you listen. Uh, I'm going to stop at Arthur Murphy's, and I'm going to hire an instructor to teach George and Harry how to dance the rumba. Not Is... me. Harry, you listen. <laughs> I, I, I just remembered I have to make a phone call. George and I are supposed to go bowling. I thought it'd be good for the arm and a little exercise. We... Put down that phone. You are not going bowling. No, and neither is George. I don't approve of bowling. It can't be nice if you have to do it in an alley. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll see you tonight. Okay, dear. Uh, eavesdropper. <laughs> Blanche, I am not taking a Roomba lesson. I'm taking, I'm taking a Roomba lesson. That's better. <laughs> And I'm going to need some money for a new dress for the party Saturday night. Well, things are tough, Blanche. They are tough, but after all, man has to do what he can for his wife, and I'm no exception, Blanche. Man's oh. got to take care. Oh. They are. Oh. All yours. Take whatever you need. Oh, yeah. Have whatever you... <laughs> Thank you, Harry. You're welcome. Oh, bless your heart. <laughs> <laughs> Bla Blanche, I, o I only did it because the hat's too big, you see? <laughs> well, if it was up to that guy, we'd have to take rumba lessons. <laughs> but I'll get us out of it. I've been outsmarting Gracie for 20 years now. For example, every morning she picks out a tie for me to wear. But I don't pay any attention to it, I wear what I like. This morning, she wanted me to wear a striped tie. <laughs> As I was saying, I've been outsmarting Gracie now for 19 years. And, uh, oh, here comes Bill Goodwin. Is Gracie with him? She's back already? Oh, I forgot, it's two hours later. 
Well, he's got one of those new little English cars. Well, thank you, Bill, for riding me home. Oh, you're welcome, Gracie. Let me help you out, huh? All right. Yeah, I hope you'll excuse me for rushing along, Gracie, but I have a chance to get a part in a picture with Clark Gable and Spencer Tracy. If I'm not at the studio on time, I might lose the part. Oh, well, then come in the house and have a cup of coffee and tell me all about it. Oh, no, thanks. I've got to go. Oh, well, then how about a cup of cocoa? Well, no, thanks, Gracie. I, I... Oh, uh, tea? Well, I, I'm in a hurry, Gracie. I've oh, got to... Oh, well, look, I'll get the bag and you can take it with you. <laughs> Gracie, look, wait, wait, wait a minute. I've got a date to eat with the producer, and, and you can't be late when you're having Pasternak for lunch. Oh, won't they warm it up for you? <laughs> I don't think so, Gracie. Oh. i got to be going. Oh, hello. Oh, hi, oh, right, Blanche. Uh, Blanche, what? bring Harry over after dinner. I hire the teacher. Oh, good. Oh, Bill, what a cute car. <laughs> Isn't it cute? Oh. How do you get into it? With a shoehorn? <laughs> <laughs> you know, girls, I'm getting a little tired of those small car jokes. Now, it's a British car, and they make them smaller because there's a shortage of gasoline in England. Or I, I guess I should call it petrol. <laughs> no, that might confuse me. Call it England. <laughs> Well, I've only got seven minutes. I've got to be oh, going. Oh, no, I want George to see oh, the well, car. Well, tell him to hurry, yeah, Grace. George! I've got to go back to work. <laughs> Does it really use less gasoline? No, it must use more gasoline. A car that small has to travel farther to go a mile. <laughs> oh, hello. Hi, George. Well, say, Bill, I'd like to ask you uh, something. Just, just a minute, will you, George? I've heard them all. I, I've been asked, uh, is it a Dunhill or a Ronson? I've been asked, um, what'll it be when it grows up? I've been asked, uh, what happened to your other roller skate? And all the other corny jokes. Now, George, what do you want to ask me? What happened to your other roller skate? <laughs> Nothing well, phases me. Right. Goodbye, Bill. Goodbye, Gracie. I'll see you tonight. Yes, dear. Bye. And, George? I'm going into the kitchen and make you some fried Pasternak. <laughs> fried Pasternak? I don't know. That must be a new it dish, I guess. Be. Yes, George, I've got to be going. I'm a... Wait a minute, Willie. What's your hurry? Well, I've only got five minutes to get to MGM. You see, I might get a part in a picture with Clark Gable and Spencer Tracy. Really? Yeah. Well, if you see Lana Turner and Ava Gardner, yeah. tell them that I'm a married man. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, George. I just saw Ava Gardner eating a piece of pie in the commissary the other day. Wow, what a dish. You're not kidding. Yeah, the whip topping was made with carnation evaporated milk. <laughs> oh, you're talking about the pie. Well, Nash. Oh, well, naturally, everybody. Well, sure. yeah, yeah, yeah. well goodbye, I gotta go. Well, goodbye, luck, Bill. Bill. Lots of luck, and we hope to get it. Yeah. Say, you know something? Carnation is the milk from contented cows. I know that. I do, too. Well, just don't forget it. We no. won't. We okay. won't. Okay. Well, goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye Bill. Bill. And lots of luck to you. Uh, and we hope that you get the pot. You know, and, and another, another thing to remember, <laughs> see, carnation is good whole milk with nothing removed but water and nothing added except vitamin D. That's, that's the sunshine vitamin. I know, Bill. You've got two minutes. Oh, well, I've got to go then. Well, so long. Goodbye, goodbye Bill. Bill. I give my best respect and trade. Right. Right. Oh, you, you know, carnation evaporated milk. You see, just as it pours from the can, can be used instead of cream. In fact, it whips just like cream. Holy smoke, you I gotta got get to, to the go. studio. Oh, oh, you can make a shortcut, Bill. You go straight. And when you want milk, <laughs> all you do is add an equal amount of water. You see, then, then you have milk that costs one-third less than bottled milk. This is worse than getting Harry off to work in the morning. <laughs> well, goodbye. Yeah, I got to listen. Huh? If you rush, I, I got. If you go real fast, you've just missed your appointment. <laughs> <laughs> you're kidding. I don't. Well, then I might as well relax. Well, huh? Naturally. No sense yeah. in worrying. You got sure. a cigar? You betcha. I've always got Thanks, a cigar. Thanks, George. Hey, well, you know it's kind of silly anyhow. Me, me, me working with Gable and Tracy. Competition like that could ruin your career. Well, you're not kidding. They're nice fellas. Why should I want to hurt them? <laughs> oh, you switched that around. Yeah. I just got it. <laughs> and clever, too, will I? I have a match here in my glove compartment. Okay, Bill. Hold Please. these, will you? Sure, be glad to. <laughs> hey, 
Thank you, George. Bill, how do you get all this carnation milk in your glove compartment? Well, it's easy, George. I keep my gloves in my overcoat. <laughs> well, goodbye, Bill. And lots of luck. Goodbye, George. Goodbye. Of course, Bill Goodwin is the only one that doesn't know that Gracie has hired a rubber teacher. And Gracie doesn't know that I know that she told Blanche, who told Harry, and I listened. Isn't that a clever plot? You know, 20th Century Fox wants this for a Dan Daly picture. But I said, no, I've got a picture of Dan Daly. <laughs> anyway, it's now three hours later. And I've got a scheme where Harry and I don't have to do the rumba. Just watch the old master at work. Something happened, pardon me. Gracie, what happened? Well, you know that lovely plate that my mother gave me for Christmas to hang on the wall? Yeah. Well, I was driving a nail through it. You did And I did. <laughs> and this I, beautiful plate? I feel awful about it. It's been in our family for years. Mrs. Phillips gave it to my mother. Who is, who is Mrs. Phillips? Well, she's the old woman who's been living with my mother for the last 20 years. Well, who is she? We don't know. <laughs> An old woman is living in your house for 20 years and you don't know who she is? My brother won her at a raffle. <laughs> he won a woman at a raffle? Yeah, they ran a raffle for a poor old woman. And, and your brother, brother won? Yeah. <laughs> well, look. <laughs> Gracie, I've got some glue here. Yeah. You take this glue, put it around the plate, put the plate together, it'll be just like new. Yeah, uh, I feel awful about well, that. Well, just go right ahead. Well, oh, the Mortons, oh, yes. <laughs> Come in. Gracie, Hello. Blanche and Harry Morton are here. Oh, well, I'll be right out. Come right in. Hi. Did you tell Gracie we I were told here? Gracie we were yeah. here. Yeah, take room. We're all fixed. We'll straighten out. Mm -hmm. uh, Blanche, I'll help yeah. you with your coat. Oh, well, thanks. Uh, I'll be right over. It takes a little time to get there. I'll be there. Oh, boy. This back of mine. What's the matter with you? It's an old football injury. And this weather always brings it back. Oh? Hmm. Well, Harry played football. It never bothers him. Well, it does me. Oh. Well, Harry, you take my coat, please. Will you yeah, Harry, you my take my coat. There, too, if you will. For me, it... Oh! Ooh! This weather's murder. Yes, it is. <laughs> but it's beautiful. It's the worst kind. It's the worst kind. <laughs> Gracie, what happened again? I threw a cup on the floor and broke it. Why did you do that? Well, I had a little glue left and I didn't want it to go away. <laughs> Her mother sent us a plate for Christmas, well, you see. Oh, hello, everybody. Oh, hello, well, the teacher will be here pretty soon. Oh, oh wonderful. Oh, yes. I can't wait to dance the night. This is the night. Oh, oh. oh boy. Oh, my God. Well, I'm glad to hear you say that. Even the dumbest men can rumble, and you're as smart as they are. <laughs> oh, yes. I can't wait. Well, I come on, boys. Let's move the furniture. Yeah, this chair, George. But, Gracie, I can't move anything with this hip. Well, use your hands. <laughs> okay. Look, Gracie, I can't take a Roomba lesson. I've got a torn cartilage. Well, maybe you can get one from George. <laughs> you can wear my brown one. The short <laughs> uh, George, move that chair over here, please. Move yeah, and there. Harry, please, take this table, and I think a good place for it would be right yeah, there. Oh, 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 isn't the back oh, off? Oh, 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 stop. Oh. You're not fooling me with those hips. They're phonies. Oh, I didn't know you bought them. <laughs> yeah, Max Factor's putting them out this season. Oh, really? Mm. See, George, move that chair over there, will you? Over there? Yes, right over there. Well, it was over there at the start, but uh -huh. that's where you want it. Let's see. No, no, move it back here. <laughs> that's right, right over here. That's it. That's How is this? Mm-hmm. No, I think you better put it back there. What are you trying to do? Well, I'm trying to find a place where it won't be so close to you. <laughs> 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 
How is this? Mm -hmm. Isn't that better? Oh, it's better. It's away from the <laughs> It's much better, yes. Look, Gracie, we can't take any room for less. Oh, the back. Now, listen to me, Gracie. Oh, these old football is Oh, goody, wait. Well, it looks like we're cooked. One more chance. Well, let's take one more chance. Oh, boy. Oh, my back. It's just simply murder. I can't, we can't walk home. Uh, are you from Arthur Murray's? Yes, I am. <coughs> Where? Keep it to <laughs> Who are you? I'm the rumba teacher. Oh, she's my assistant. She plays the records while I give the lesson. <laughs> we dance with you? Oh, that's right. Oh! <laughs> We'll take rumble now, lessons. Now remember. Okay, well. Now remember, right you swing the hip from right to left. Now, are you ready? Yes. Yes. All right. A one, one two, two, three, four. One, two, three, forward. One, one two, two, three, back. One, two, three, aside. One, two, three, aside. Hey, one, that's two, kind of cute. Three. Oh, that, that is wonderful. You're doing rumble. I'm doing so wonderful. Yeah, this is cute. soon as George can recover from his dancing lesson. That's just enough time for me to suggest an extra special dessert for your dinner tomorrow night. Your favorite pudding made with carnation evaporated milk. You probably have several packages of pudding in your pantry right now, just like these I found in Gracie's kitchen. If you haven't, get some from your grocer tomorrow. Chocolate, vanilla, butterscotch. Packaged puddings come in all your favorite flavors. No matter what flavor you choose, you'll make a richer, more delicious pudding if you make it with carnation, evaporated milk. Just follow the regular directions on the pudding package. But instead of using ordinary milk, be sure you use carnation milk diluted with an equal amount of water. Yes, I said diluted. The reason is that carnation is concentrated to more than double richness by having water removed. As a matter of fact, it's so rich that even when you dilute carnation 50-50 with water, carnation is still richer than your state standard for bottled milk. So you see, that's why pudding or any other dish that calls for milk tastes richer and is lots richer when you make it with carnation evaporated milk. The milk from contented cows. And now, here's carnation's own contented couple, George and Gracie. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Gracie and I will be back again two weeks from tonight. We're a little late. So say good night, Gracie. Good night. Good night. show will be back two weeks from tonight. Stay tuned now for Robert Q. Lewis and the show goes on over most of these stations. This is Bill Goodwin saying good night for Carnation.